Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to look at the fundamental counting principle and see how it can help us answer this question. So the question says, on a multiple choice exam, there are six questions, and each question has four options. So if you were to go through this test and select one of those four choices, making sure leaving none of them blank, how many ways could you finish this test? Hmm. It looks like it's kind of tricky, so let's go ahead and take a review of the fundamental counting principle and see how it might help. So what this principle does is it allows us to count all of the different ways. And so it says if you choose one item from a group of m items and a second from a group of n items, then basically you get all of your two item choices by multiplying the two together. Now the great part about this principle is it also applies if you have, say, three groups of items. So maybe M items, N items, and maybe another set of items, T items. Again, you would multiply it by that additional group. Let's see how this might help us here. First, we have to identify what groups we are choosing from. It's really tempting to take the 6 and take the 4, but that's actually incorrect. Instead, think of how you go through the exam. You get to that first question, and, well, you have four different options that you could choose. So you want to choose one of those answers from the four options. Four. All right. Move on to the next question. And again, you're left with four different options that you could choose. And you would choose one of them. Move on to the third question. Same deal. You got four options. You're going to choose one. And you're going to keep doing this as you go through the test until you've done all six questions. So as you can see, the groups that you are choosing from is the group of possible answers for each of the questions. And you'll do it six times because there's essentially six groups of answers to choose from. All right. So now, in order to find this, we basically have to multiply all of these fours together. Now you could write this as 4 to the 6th power, that's okay, but I get an answer of 4,096. And there you have it. So if you're careful about what groups you are grabbing from, the counting principle works out really well. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.